this is not how to apply to schools in the US, Jeffrey. You are doing it all wrong. You keep wasting money, you keep on wasting resources, and you keep on wasting your precious time. Let me teach you the real or the best ways to actually apply to schools over here in the US. Was that a cringy joke? Anyways, all right, so I can't remember, I made a video on TikTok talking about one of the biggest mistakes that I ever made, or I would say I nearly made before coming here and that is not reaching out to the schools before applying to them trust me i applied to over 200 schools when i thought you applied to about 200 schools this is how i did it i used the common app and i remember having about three or four different gmail accounts and then creating new account and then just applying so a common app account could have about 20 schools and then i'll just apply so you know i applied over 200 plus because i had multiple gmails but then one mistake that i wish i never made is if I had reached out to the schools earlier on. If you know me from TikTok, you know I always talk about reaching out to the schools at first, sending them cold emails, okay? Because over here, it's all about emails. Sending them emails, I was even calling them. Send them emails, package your questions, and then send it to them. Wait for them to get back to you with the realest information because trust me, what you see on the website, or the website is not true. What you would want to know comes from them. It should come from them directly through email. So I wrote down a list of five things that you should do or five questions if it's more than thank god six questions you should ask the universities before applying and now if you do not know code email code email is when you go on the university that you think is the final school you want to go with you go on their website and then check the international student admission office find their email and then email them that you are interested in their school and you want to apply to the school but then you would wish they give you answers for these questions before you can go ahead and apply so without further ado I'm just going to go straight into my uh, my notepad or whatever I call it, my smartphone here with me and then just give you guys the tips because I don't want to be talking about it often. So the first thing and the most important thing that you want to be talking about or be asking them is the available funding. Believe me, funding is the most important thing to study here, not because it helps you get visa, but then when you come to the US. I'm filming a video right now about a day in the life of an international student. I'm still filming it. This is even part of it. and you notice that i didn't even have time in the video like i didn't have two hours without doing nothing every single time i was doing something either assignment either learning or something i will i barely had time to do something for myself so for you to sit back home and think that i am coming to the us to number one work to make money number two to raise twenty thousand dollars thirty thousand dollars oh come on it's not possible so ask them about the funding opportunities and this is how to ask them when you email them tell them that you have this particular gpa add that you have an sat scores or you do not have an sat scores and then add that you have certain extracurricular activities list them you are part of the school's debate club list all your qualities sell yourself to the school selling yourself is like guys this is what i'm bringing on board please pick me because you are competing against so many people from nigeria Nigerians are very smart, Nigerians, Kenya, all around the world, even in the Europe and all that. So sell yourself to the point where they are like, let's choose this Ghanaian guy, this Nigerian guy over this UK guy. So sell yourself, ask them what is the available funding you qualify for based on the results that you have given them. And then they will be honest with you because the websites wouldn't really give you the truth. So yeah, ask them the available funding for you. And the next most important thing is if you are okay with the funding, let's say, you qualify for some good scholarship ask them what are the possible funding you would qualify for when you continue in the school so most schools offer um resident assistantships okay like i'm an i'm an ARI, right so they give extra scholarships in your second year when you become an ARI, and then maybe subsequently you get other scholarships so ask them what are the scholarships opportunities in the school maybe as you proceed when you become this they give you that but because you are a freshman you do not qualify for it so ask them about the future potential scholarships that you will qualify for the next thing that you should ask after you are okay with the funding is extracurricular act <laughs> extracurricular activities that you could join believe me you are not just coming to school you would want to be part of a community okay so ask them about the extracurricular activities debate society probably student government you guys see me on linkedin and instagram i'm part of almost everything i'm a student government executive freshman senator sophomore senator resident assistant for summer resident assistant for this current i'm part of this club called the pete kai mamu or whatever they call it i keep messing up the name but i'm part of so many clubs in my school i'm also part of university you want to know about these extracurricular activities you need to be involved in the community because some of you might want to go to law school and you need all these 
extracurricular activities on your resume when you apply for jobs and they look at your resume you need all these things for your resume so ask them for the possible or the available extracurricular activities and also ask them for study abroad opportunities so yeah you should ask them these questions the next thing that you would want to ask them is the admission requirements now some schools would mention i have experienced it first hand on the website they stated that no transcript evaluation they cleared they licked, clearly wrote it we do not need transcript evaluation and then after submitting my application getting admission submitting documents for i20 three weeks to my interview they hit me with hey we cannot release your i20 unless you bring us a transcript evaluation imagine if i had emailed them in advance to ask them i would have saved myself so much time and money so email them ask them for the final admission requirements they wouldn't throw you back to the website ask them do you guys actually need the gre do you guys actually need the sat do you guys actually need this like let them list it themselves and then yeah let us come from them and then ask them for possible waivers now this is how to ask for application fee should i make this a separate video this is how to ask for application fee. Don't tell them that you do not have the money, okay? I've had an experience back in 2020 where I told a particular school that I can't pay the application fee. And the admissions officer sent me a voice note on WhatsApp saying that if I can't pay the application fee, how do I expect to pay the school fees? So this is how to craft it. Tell them that you have a budget for applying to schools and you have planned to apply to 10 schools. You have exhausted your budget for all these 10 schools, but then you saw this when you realize that this is the ultimate school you want to attend so please the only thing hindering you is the application fee is there any way they could just give you a waiver code for it put it in that way they know that oh you are not in it you actually just want to come to that school that is why you are asking for the waiver and then hopefully they give you the waiver code the next thing that you want to do is ask for the kind of support international students receive i've heard from friends where they went to certain schools and the international students are just there they don't get any events they don't get any association nothing it's like they are just they ask for the international students um, affairs office that what kind of treatment what kind of services do they have for you guys do they have any event for you guys like something like that because believe me the mindset that you have about america is different when you come here the things that you thought about america is opposite when you come here you think that oh i'm just coming here school has to let me here when i come out force and work I was a big me, then I'll say, I'm telling you, it's not possible. When you come in, you need to involve in so many things, okay? It's a school, it's like attending the University of Ghana, you need to be involved, you understand? So, yeah, ask them for international student activities and the kind of support that they get from the school. Another thing is, ask them for internship opportunities. I'm telling you, I wouldn't talk about this issue, but you need internships, okay? And sometimes internships can be very tough. I've applied to 53 internships and they all refused me from LinkedIn. They all, when you see my resume, I'm not saying this to brag, but when you see my resume, you know that at least it's like, it's qualifies for at least some internship, but they all refused me. And I don't even know the reason why they refused me, but if there are schools that have connections with certain companies or organizations, you can easily get internships. So ask them for internship opportunities because you would need an internship. And that is when you become stranded the next thing that you want to ask them is the real tuition fees listen don't look on the website the website is outdated it's just a, an estimate email them and ask them what is the role or the estimated annual fees of an international student they will give it to you they are interested in that part they will give you the estimate and then you get an estimate and you'll be like okay i qualify for this amount of scholarship go ahead and even email your transcript and your WASI results to them tell them that these are the documents that i want to submit to your school can I go ahead? I don't want to waste money. I don't want to waste time. Ask them before you actually apply to it, right? Now, the last thing that I'll talk about is, yes, assistance for visas, okay? So when I applied to schools in Canada, the school that I applied to, I'll mention the name, they gave assistance to international students, okay? When they wanted to apply for visas, you email them and then they'll give you assistance. So they will help you with some of the how to craft your personal statement for your visa application and whatsoever. So certain schools give tips on how to actually get your visa approved. Like they help you get a higher chances. I mean, they don't have a seat, but they can give you like some tips in order to ace your visa interview. So you would want to consider all these things and listen, do the right job, okay? Don't be lazy about this whole thing. When I tell people that I can't mention schools, they get angry at me, some say I'm too low, some think I'm whatever. But I wish you guys would see it from a bird's eye view by the grace of god and with all humility i'm in the us and i came here and i realized that i've made so many mistakes that people are still making and the first mistake is asking people to mention schools for you listen you will do yourself so much damage if you just keep asking people 
Can you give me three screws that will give me do uh, blah blah blah? Can you give me three screws that will not assess this? Can you give if even I know most schools in the US, even if I mention it to you, how would you pass your interview when you go and they ask you how did you find this school or why this school? You'll be so stranded, and at that point, I have been a bad person because I gave you the go ahead. Oh, it's a good school. You applied, you got the visa, um, you got the interview, whatever, you go for the interview and they refuse you because you can't even talk about your school. Why don't you just sit down? I was in Ghana. I'm going to make a LinkedIn post tomorrow about how I was researching about schools when I was working at the uh, Ghana Statistical Service. Take your time. Get off TikTok. Get off Twitter. Get off all these social media. Dedicate an entire week, an entire month to finding schools that you know within you that this is a school for me. A school that you know that they are organizations for me. When you have the vision ahead that I want to be a lawyer in the US, I want to be a medical doctor in the US. So therefore, let me streamline my career path into this particular school. They offer this kind of programs to these students, people who want to do their research. It's not even difficult. Just pick one school every day and then just go on their website, call the admission office, send them emails, put in the work, and then you should be fine. If you're able to dedicate just an hour of your day every day for 30 days, you should come back with good answers, okay? So please do the work yourself. I appreciate you guys so much for watching this video. I realized that my YouTube is taking off because I was recently at 1,000 subscribers and I'm like, hey, YouTube, maybe people don't like it. So I've seen the growth and I appreciate every kind of support that you guys give me. It's not easy for me here in the US. It's never easy when you come here. Your life is going to be times 300 difficult than it is back in Ghana. Just that you are swapping problems. So let's say in Ghana, if you are not um, financially stable here, you get in debt. You'll be financially okay, but then you get in debt. That is it. So I wish everyone the best. Come to the US. I will never discourage you from coming to America. Get it, but please do it the right way, okay? I know it's very difficult. I've been through this since 2018, 2017 then. Always come on. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Let me do my quick advert. No, I nearly forgot. Let me do my quick advert. Please go to Paris Chapel and get a copy of my book on rejection, okay? I place the dollar note in every single book. Just go there, get a copy for yourself and tag me on Instagram. And also, click the link in my description to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me. Get my ebook on the American Dream. And also, download my visa prep if you want to go for an interview anytime soon and you need a question to ask. Just download all in my description. And apart from that, I'll see you guys in the next video.